follows me on YouTube and everyone who also follows me on all the other platforms. So today I'm going to be joined just now by a gentleman um, who is in uh, Romania, by a gentleman who's in Romania, all the way from Romania. Uh, he's going to be joining me just now. I'm going to be adding him on the screen and he's going to be coming live together with me. He has a story uh, to share with us as we are continuing to bring enlightenment to the body of Christ, as we continue to uh, 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 bring the truth, and as we continue also to enlighten people. So he's going to be joining me. So if you are watching, uh, my brother, just kindly uh, drop a comment right there on the comment section uh, so that I can be able to add you on the broadcast. So if you are watching, uh, kindly drop a comment on the comment section so that I, I may be able so that I may be able to aid you right now so uh, by the way I want us I want you to know that uh, in this time that we are that we are in in this time and this era do not allow anybody to intimidate you because uh, we are not intimidated by liars we are not intimidated by lies and we will never be intimidated uh, by people who will try to bring uh, propaganda and all those things, you know. So, right, I see um, he has just commented. Let me try to bring him on camera. Uh, let me try to bring him on camera uh, so that we may get down to business. Uh, please just drop another comment, my brother. I think, okay, there you go. There you are. I don't want to waste a lot of time. I just want to go straight to the business of the day uh, without wasting so much time. I just want us to go straight to the, to the business of the day. So I'm trying to add him. Uh, this is a gentleman who's going to be joining in all the way from Romania. Uh, Romania is in, uh, in Europe. Romania is a country that is in Europe. And this man traveled all the way from Europe. And um, he came down to South Africa at some point. Um, okay, good evening, my brother. Good evening. Uh, please t uh, tilt your camera again. Like that, like that. Okay. Perfect, okay. just like that, just like that. Are you well, my brother? How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good I'm you. good, I'm good, man, I'm good. Let me come closer, let me come closer so that I can be able to hear you well. Uh, it's good to see you. And, can you uh, can you hear me better now? If I'm holding the microphone. Like oh, this? perfect! Please, yeah, just hold your microphone okay. closer to your to your mouth. I, I think I can hear you well now. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, so, um, to all those who are just joining in, uh, to all those who are just joining in right now, um, hey, my brother, you, your name is a bit difficult for me. You know, <laughs> do, do you mind uh, sharing your name? <laughs> yeah, it's Kakovian. Uh, Kakovian. Yeah. Uh, Kakovian. Uh, Emmanuel. I, 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 Emmanuel. I'll call you Emmanuel from, from call your me Emmanuel. Where, from your, from your web that you see when you get yeah. South <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So it's, it's good to see you, man. Guys, uh, to everybody who's watching, uh, this is uh, Kakovian, all the way from Romania. Uh, he's in Europe right now as we speak. And um, you came to, when did you come to South Africa, by the way? Um, November. You came to South Africa uh, last year, November? Yeah. Ah, okay. So this uh, 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 handsome brother, of, are you married? Are you married? I, sh I, should, I should find you a wife. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. But... Um, so uh, Kakovian here traveled and he came all the way uh, to South Africa in November last year. And um, he was right here at, uh, at AMI. And as you all know, uh, that um, I've been talking about a lot of things. So ever since uh, I began this journey of talking about things, uh, there are st you know, there's a lot of uh, stuff that I spoke about that uh, my brother here related to. And then when he realized that, oh, no, uh, this is, uh, 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 these are the things that I'm talking about. And he, he also realized that he went through some of the stuff that I'm talking about. So he reached out to me 
Uh, he sent quite a couple of messages up until I managed to respond after some time. And then when I responded, finally we spoke. And then he shared with me a very touching story, very painful story that he shared with me. Um, I, I, I was really touched and, you know, I, I, I felt like, no, man, this is, this, is, this is not right. You know, for the, sake of, for the sake of the saints, for the sake of God's people, for the sake of everybody who's watching all over the world, and for the sake of uh, uh, the body of Christ, for the, church, uh, for the sake of the church of Jesus Christ, you know, we have to um, uh, 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 liberate uh, uh, God's people. And, you know, so I thought that by, you know, by bringing him uh, 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 on the live broadcast to share his story, not only with me, uh, but with, uh, with everybody who's watching all over the world. So my brother, uh, you, can, you can talk to me. You know, um, when, when, I, when I spoke to you last night, you, you had a couple of scriptures that you wanted us to share. I'll give you the platform, then you can just lead me, and then I'll then we move in, in your direction. So uh, over to you. Uh, please br bring your, your mic close to your... Okay, do you want to play the, um, the video first, or just okay, later? Um, or, or rather, let, let, let me play your video first. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So... Um, This is, this was when uh, my brother here came to South Africa, and this was the prophecy that he received. Uh, it is a 12 minutes long prophecy, but I pray. I'll pray for you too. Uh, uh, you too, my daughter. Okay. I hope everybody will be able to hear that. And, um, Baba Soko Togoshia. Jesus. I'm looking for some. Yeah, you may skip the song. That are okay. very All right. Children. But to do the work is tough. Okay. This is your family. All of them together. Your husband. Yourself and 13 children, no. 13 children. Mariana, are you Mariana? Oh, and is that Jesus. your son? I can only see you and pray for you if I can get your name. It's not written here that I get your name. Emmanuel. They're both so overwhelmed with the accuracy of this word of knowledge. This gentleman's name is Emmanuel, and the mother is Mariana. If God knows them by name, then surely he is well informed about every other aspect of their lives. God will show himself strong for their sake. Emmanuel, Lord, I present to you this. I'll skip that uh, singing part. Yeah. Emmanuel. Yes. Is that your I think name? I need to. You I need to relocate. Uh -huh. I said I need to relocate because uh, there is already a bunch of cars parked next to me. Oh, you need to drive? I think you can just drive as I'm playing the video. Yeah, yeah. Play, play, play. Okay. You and your husband have 15 children. Yes, Pastor. Thirteen children. Lord Jesus. Thirteen children. Now, 
I am looking on the screen. Turn it like this. There is this Lucia. 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 Yes, Lucia. Who was that? He's my husband. That is the first photo there. Yes, yes. Lucia is your husband. Yes. Hardworking man. And that is you. Yes. Then the next song, this is your first song. Yes. With yes. both his hands in his pocket. But yes. as I look, the Lord is showing me that his head is not well. He's yes. mentally not well. Yes. Is that true? Yes. He has mental problem. Yes, yes. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, Lord. yes, I believe. I you believe. believe in miracles? Believe. Is there anybody who believes in miracles? We believe in miracles. I just don't know who I'm speaking to. But is there anybody out of the sound of my voice who believes in miracles? We believe in miracles. Can somebody believe that a miracle can be yours today, not tomorrow? Today! Your son has a mental problem. Yes, yes. He has a disease. Yes. Tell the doctor about your son. Yes. Uh, uh, schizophrenia. Yes. Five years. For five years? What did she say to you? She says he's got schizophrenia for five years. Schizophrenia is a chronic illness that causes people to hallucinate and to have uh, delusions. Right. For five years now. Uh, that's, that's not you, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me... Okay. I'm, I'm saying this because there are some people who might say, oh, no, he was talking about you, and that is why you have come on live like that, you know? No, 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 no. I just had to clarify that, yeah. How do we do? I'm being honest. You are. You are. You are. She, she left. She left. Yes. And she took her with. <laughs> yes. Your sisters. Yeah. The photos. You, you might understand this. It's not written. It's a story of man and God, right? I'm big. God does nothing unless he reveals it first to his family. Nothing is hidden before God. What am I trying? I am trying to show that Jesus Christ is not limited. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you that uh, he's bigger than any thing you ever thought. This is a simple thing. Our Jesus Christ did far more. Yes. Far more. And if in the prophetic I can see the picture that she has been showing right in front of me. Lucia. This is her and this is Emmanuel Marina. Yeah. And uh, now, the Lord showing this pretty beautiful girl and the sister decided to leave. Yeah. Because seven years ago, someone prophesied wrongly. Yes. And this was uh, I think we lost him. Um, I'm, go I'm, I'm just going to play the video, then uh, kindly, kindly comment again so that I can add you back. Your first daughter. Hallelujah. Is that true? Yes. yes. And then decided to move. Yes. This one looks like James. <laughs> Do you know James? Yes, yes. James. Is this James? Yes, yes. James? James, yes. All right, all right. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. James has a good heart. Yes, yes. Look at his smile. <laughs> Everybody smile like James. <laughs> Some of you, even if Pastor is trying his best to get you in a good mood. <laughs> So this is the prophecy that uh, our brother there received. Uh, I'm going to try and add him back again. Uh, please, uh, uh, my brother, kindly uh, drop another comment so that I can add you back online uh, so that we continue. Uh, kindly give me another comment again like you did so that I can be able to add you back. So this is a brother who went, uh, he traveled all the way from Romania and um, when he came all the way from Romania, um, Romania is in, is in Europe, by the way. Uh, they spent uh, more than 
maybe more than 150,000 rands, uh, according to what uh, according to what he told me. Uh, more than 150,000 rands that he spent together with his family just to come down and uh, you know be part of this. Um, uh, uh, I'm showing everybody here. Okay, so I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm. I think it's left with about two minutes. So I'm gonna play the last two minutes and then we talk. There we go. You smiling? That's good. Yeah. Are these tweets? I'm seeing something. Are they tweets? Is this? Yes. <laughs> yes, Pastor. Oh God! Great God! Oh, God. Great God. Oh, God. You mean? will turn the story around. Amen. Your daughters will watch and come back. Hallelujah. Because what they have said and what moved them away of God. You yes. are struggling since I died, especially yes. financially. Yes. I am seen like a, a pancake place. <laughs> a pancake place. Is that yes. correct? Is that family business? Yes. You owe my nice pancake? All Thank right. You, sure. But things are not as easy as it's supposed to be. Yes. God is saying that not only that he will visit your finances and your family, mm. you must bring your son because God will provide for finance. He will restore the mind of your son yes. and your daughters are about to come back home. Uh, we receive. If I was you, I would say my miracle is coming back home. My miracle is coming back home. My blessing is coming back home. My blessing is coming back home. I release the blessings of God over your life Receive in the name of it. Jesus. I command blessings over you, Emmanuel, in the name Receive of Jesus. Receive it in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Romo Sata. Thank you, Jesus. If you were blessed by the video, okay. be sure to subscribe to So, uh, there you guys um i'm i'm i'm, I'm talking to, to um emmanuel uh uh all the way from um all the way from romania as you can see i was playing a prophecy so my brother over to you uh you can you can talk to me emmanuel uh yeah i can hear you okay that's good did you watch the last part where he touched my upper head? Yes, I did. I did. Okay. There was somebody telling me, lay down, lay down. I just didn't feel like falling, you know. You, you said um, <laughs> when, when, when he was praying for you, the yeah. guy at the back was, was telling you to lie down. Yeah. Okay. But... Um, and that's not what I want to talk about today. Okay. I just um, just want to give you guys a bit of um, background. Okay. How we ended in South Africa in Joburg, and where did we stay? Okay. Who hosted us, and you know. So okay. when we first applied for the visa, because uh, if you're coming from Europe, you need a you need a visa to enter in in South Africa. Cool. When we cool. first when we first applied to for the visa, um, the embassy the requirements, right? Okay. Such as uh, such as a proof of um, like a pro forma invoice of where on the hotel that we was going to stay, you know. And um, we called the AMI call center. Okay. At the beginning, asking them, you know, how secure it is to, you know, as a white man to be there and just walk okay. on the streets, maybe if he's there, a close, a closer hotel to the church so that we don't have, need to take uh, long distances, you know. Okay. So somebody from, from the um, people that was working in the call center. Okay. Uh, suggested that uh, they would um, give my phone number to somebody that's from the church, right? And um, this person is going to help us with uh, uh, with us staying there, with uh, taking us around. She has good prices on, you know, on the apartment and everything. Okay, okay. So then we got to know Pastor Clotliso. Okay. <laughs> 
which uh, you mentioned on your other videos about her. She she was some of the informants, you know. Yes, yes. So actually, whatever was in that prophecy, okay, she knew from us, and we didn't realize that we told her unless after we came back to to Romania and things were, mm, you know, kind of fishy for many okay. aspects. But yeah, she knew about the twins. She knew about the James. By the way, James, my brother James, is not even called James in Romanian. Okay. His name is Yakov. Okay. okay. But we told her when she put her finger on the picture, we told her his name is James because it, we were speaking English, right? So I just. Oh, called, so you, you just you know. told her a name she could understand, but but that's exactly. not his real name. Exactly. Okay. And that name appeared in in the prophecy. Have you seen? Smile like James. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> this is James. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's pretty sad uh, going all the way there, spending huge amounts of money with huge sacrifices together, and uh, just to be scammed. You know, the mm. person that you get it in first contact after 32 hours of flying and airports and without sleeping and very tired. First thing when we entered in her apartment was she brought us some food and okay. she asked us questions, right? Who is this? Oh, do you have pictures? Oh, let me see the picture. Oh, who is this? Are these twins? Do you have any twins? You know, questions like that. So we didn't even thought that she might be so close to... to uh, she to might be actual... working together with them, yeah. Yeah, nobody would even thought that, you know, because. When you see, when you see um, Alf Lukau's ministry, you think, oh, by the, the way that he's very secured and he has all these bodyguards around, mm. it's, it's barely impossible for somebody from the church to get in direct contact with him, you know, mm. only the bishops and, you know. Until the second time of the program when we went there and uh, people were asking where do you stay by? And I said, we stay by a, a woman from the church called Tlotliso. Oh, Pastor Tlotliso. I'm like, okay. No, she's not a pastor. <laughs> she's just a woman. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> mm -hmm. And everybody knew Tlotliso in the church. Mm, okay. That was about okay already, you know. Starting from the fact that she asked us 40. US dollar. I don't. I don't remember the, the conversion rate in in uh, runs. Forty mm. US dollars per night is um, is quite an amount of money. You know? Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's more than a five star hotel, and we were not even having a privacy in that flat because there were two. No, there were three rooms, and they were all rented for somebody from Suriname, from Central America, somebody from. Um, from, uh, uh, I have a lapses now, from, um, there were people all over coming to the AMI okay. call center, bringing them to Tlotliso, right, to this woman. So now uh, people from the call center were, were bringing people to Tlotliso. Yeah. And Tlotliso was uh, accommodating all of you guys in a house and you were paying now, for them. I'm, sh I'm sure, as you, I'm sure as, you, as you mentioned in your last video, in your... Yeah. Um, in your other life that uh, there is a team of those people yes. that are hosting yes. people they get in touch with you they 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 walk you around the city they gather information from you you know and when the time is right they, they're just going to put up in front of the so-called man of god okay yeah um but you know from the beginning mm. from the beginning i, I felt like something was fishy okay so Even can you just take I... me back um when you uh, because i remember when i spoke to you, you said you landed at the airport then when you go to the airport you got picked up by a guy then along the way he was asking you questions up until you got to the house yeah. and stuff like that yeah there was this guy called adam i don't uh, remember. Adam. I don't... adam yeah he's an uber driver in okay. sa and he's working together with lotli so in the church okay. there, you know picking people from the airport and uh, 
it's a long, it's not really a long way. I think it was like half an hour from our town boat. To yeah, the, from to, to Santin, it's about half an hour, yeah. Yeah. But on the way, he asked his question. We also asked him questions. Is that you are in this place, you know, being able to stay day by day in this amazing church, you know. And mm. He didn't seem to be very excited at all, you know. He was okay. like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> mm. You know. But we didn't understand at the beginning, you know. Okay. And we would look, we would look for excuses. The, the man of God, because uh, it, uh, some people like to negotiate with themselves, you know. Okay. That's what we did. That's what we did. We negotiated with ourselves to um, to believe that God was there, God was working through this ministry, um, even though there were many questions, you know, okay. that um, uh, we would... Well, fortunately, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go to a few of them which you and um, uh, come again that I'm gonna go through them with you and um, okay. uh, so so before you before you, you you run your questions, I just want um, everyone to understand that um, th this man is uh, based in Romania, you know, um, he is in, in Europe. I, I do not look for him. He reached out, and this is what I've been talking about. Uh, when I spoke about Totli, so that um, she gets information from all the international visitors. She works with uh, a lot of other people. As you can see, uh, there were people who were in the call center who take people and bring uh, people to her. Then she has, a, you know, a lot of other people that she works with as well. So there's another, another one called Shalin. There's another one called another one called. Um, it's so it's a it's a whole. There's a lot of them, you know. There's a lot of them. Uh, there's a woman called Mama, and and it pains me because she's from Zimbabwe. Girl, used for all this. Uh, there is another one, Brenda, she ran away, uh, you know, uh, Ben, a, a ran away, went to Congo. There, 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 there's a crew, uh, she's also part of the take information to this man and then he claims to prophesy. Jackie, you know, the, the, the colored bishop, she's also one of the people who, who takes information and stuff like that. So, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really sad. So, if if you are someone who's gullible, you will never really realize that this is what is happening in this place because everyone knows what's going on, but no one will come out to speak, you know. So um, my brother here, you know, your, your, your experience really broke my heart because when I watched your video, I could see the sincerity from, from your mom, from, your, from yourself, you know, the way you were receiving the prophecy, the way you were, you know, the way you were receiving everything that was being said because you thought it was real, you know, but it was just, uh, you know, arranged prophecies. Yeah, and the, you would wait. I would, I would, I was waiting, you know, that he would touch the real issues of the problem of the family that mm. far beyond what we got to tell to Tliso, you know. Even she, he said something that about we have a, a pancake shop, small business in in, mm. city, in my in my hometown here, but. That's not the main business that we have, you know. Yeah. That's, that's not the most important one. That's the the smallest one. I mm. And and during that time we were not struggling. And he said okay. things are dead financially, you know. People would think we, they have a large family. They probably be broke, you know. Mm. You know, mm. they people assume, so they prophesy. About um, I forgot. Forgot what I was going to tell you. Mm. No, I I hear you, my brother. Um, I I I believe that uh, by by 
I want you to know something, by the way, that, you know, when, when God remembers you, he, he does not check, you know, whether you went to a fake place. You know, you might have gone to this fake place. You know, it's a fake church. You know, everything was just bad. You know, your experience was not good. But God looks at your heart, you know. You are exactly. sincere with yourself. You are sincere with yourself. You are sincere with God, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I don't want you to look at it and say, oh, I lost my money, you know, and then you begin to regret it. No, it's, about yeah, it. it's, not, it's not about that. It's just about yeah. exposing and making people see that mm. um, it's not okay to spend maybe 3,000 US dollars would be the money that some people will buy a good car, you know. Some people mm. would, would give an upfront to a bank to get an, an apartment with this amount of money that we spend to get there with everything, with a visa, with, you know, flights. and uh, It's really not okay to go there with your heart full of expectations. And mm. uh, going there, you would sit in the front of the church, but if you want to go to the bathroom, you would see all those really sad people in the back seats with uh, broken arms, handicapped people, with serious problems, you know, that they would never get a chance to be prophesied to because they're not important people. They don't pay, mm -hmm. they don't take part of the business, you know. They just come there with their heart open to receive something in vain really in vain. Mm. No, this is bad, man. So let me ask you, Jai, yeah. uh, what do you think about those Christians such as um, Totliso? Do you think they were ever born again? Um, or do you think they just took part of, um, they just committed this so-called business because of the financial mm. reasons. I'll, I'll be very honest with you, my brother. You see, um, so, someone like Totli, so it, it's in two ways, you know. It's either she was, um, it's either she was, um, what do you call it? It's either she was manipulated into, into it because this man is very manipulative. The man we're talking about here is very manipulative. You know, he's he has a very sweet and a smooth tongue. When he speaks, you will never, ever suspect, you know, any yeah. foul play. You see, someone like Totliso might have gone to church, you know, um, with, uh, with an innocent uh, a mindset. Then when she gets there, this man, you know, he uses money on everybody. All these people that do all these runs and everything, they are, they are paid. And by the way, this is South Africa. Life is very tough in, you know. I know, I saw that, so, yeah. So anyone will be, you know, anyone who will receive any amount of money from any man will definitely do whatever he says. You know, for example, totally so, it's in two ways. It's either she is not born again at all, or she was born again when she came to church, but when she got there, she was manipulated into this thing. Because remember, there are scriptures that are used to back up what this man is doing. The Bible says Elisha, uh, you know Elisha, Elisha mm -hmm. had a servant by the name of Gehazi. This is what a lot of prophets, a, a, a lot of false prophets, or rather a lot of fake prophets say whenever they want to manipulate their people into doing such things like what Totliso is doing. So they use the scripture of Gehazi and Elisha. Elisha was the prophet and Gehazi was the, um, Gehazi was the servant. And the Bible says, a, a, a Elisha asked a question after they were brought into the house of that woman uh, who didn't have a child. And Elisha asked a question and said, what can we do for this woman? And uh, Gehazi answered and said, uh, this woman here has got no child. And then uh, uh, Elisha said, go and summon the woman to come here. So Elisha spoke. What she spoke, uh, she declared a word. And she said, you shall have a child. But the information that she was prophesying upon was not information that came from God, but it was information that came from Gehazi. So a lot of prophets will use that scenario to say, for every Elisha, there must be a Gehazi. A Gehazi is somebody who investigates. So I, I believe it's either Totliso was manipulated into this, or she is not born again at all, you see? So it is in two ways, because we cannot um, run away from the fact that 
there is money that is being used uh, as well, you know, to lure this person and uh, uh, to bring this person closer and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I do not condone what uh, uh, Totliso and uh, together with the other goons are doing. I don't condone that. You know, it, it is, it is, that, that is robbery, you know. You it guys is. come with uh, real problems. Like, for example, you told me that uh, uh, armed, you know, criminals were after your life in, in, uh, in Romania. And you traveled yeah. all the way because you thought you were going to find help. But when you get to this place, this man is talking about silly things, you know, mentioning your names, mentioning uh, James, yeah. you know. But this is not why you came. You came because exactly. you've got real problems. But because you never exactly. shared your real problems with, with, uh, with these guys, you know, um, you, know you, 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 you did not receive any, any prophetic word in regard to exactly. that. Exactly, yeah. So if this is bad. I don't condone that. And I'm calling upon everybody who's watching this video to say, guys, this is happening not only in AMI, not only uh, uh, in Johannesburg. It is happening everywhere. A lot of prophets in Africa. I'm calling upon all the people who are watching this video from the States, from Europe, because you guys from outside, you believe that there is power in Africa. There are mighty prophets in Africa. This is the exactly. reality. This is what happens in this, in this uh, continent. Yeah. So people stand up and expose, deconstruct the work of Satan to mm. these people. Mm. It is time for you to step up, just like I do. Don't be ashamed. Mm. If you had such experiences, stand up. Don't be, don't be afraid. Just expose. Okay? Yeah. You spoke about, uh, before I take your question, uh, sorry, um, I hope I'm not taking much of your time. It's, it's already closed, the shop, so now we can stay. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> so now, um, you, you, you spoke about uh, the brother that you've been talking to. You said you've been talking to, to Rodney, right? Rodney, yeah. uh, the, the Indian guy, the one who's married to Videshna. Yeah, Rodney Joseph. Do, do you mind sharing a bit of your conversations and stuff and maybe not uh, some personal things, but things that we can, you know, uh, uh, use to enlighten the saints? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, there, is, I, there is not much that I can say about Rodney because he, he seemed to be a very good person. I think he's a very good person. I think he's I think just so fooled. Too. Yeah. I think he's still fooled. As mm -hmm. many others, many others that are even very close to the pastor, mm -hmm. they don't know the truth. They are still blinded. I'll tell you something. You know? Rodney is a very genuine guy. Videshna is a very genuine woman. They are so blinded in such a way that um, that is why even when, you, because you mentioned that you told Rodney that um, uh, you would like to you know, you are going through problems, you know, ever since you heard me talking about actors being paid, you spoke to him just in a, you know, in a, in a sarcastic way to say you'd like to go there and then you want to act and then they must pay you. Then he was confused. He didn't understand what you're talking about because Rodney is a very genuine guy. He loves God. He actually relocated from Deben and went to stay in Johannesburg so that he can be closer to the church. But he is so blinded in such a way that he doesn't know that, uh, you know, this is what is happening in this place. I feel pity for him. I really, really feel pity for him and actually feel sorry for them together as a couple because they received a, 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 a fake prophecy as well, you know. Yeah. Both Rodney and Videshna, they received a fake prophecy as well that um, they were going to have a child and they are going to have a baby. Up to now, that prophecy has not yet manifested. And... These are genuine people. They love God. But I just pray that God will open their eyes really to see the truth, that this is what it is. Yeah. So um, you, you, you can uh, uh, bring your questions. Well, greetings to Rodney and to Videshna. If they're watching this, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Mm. Okay. Um, question why are people falling down after they get touched on their head it is it is in two ways okay or oh, you still want to talk continue continue yeah do they fall because they get pushed or there is a demonic power um on their body through their body after they get touched i'll tell you something um 
before we even talk about demonic power and everything, because we don't want to demonize things that are, you know, just simple and straightforward. When, when, when he mentioned your mom's name, you know, in that so-called prophecy, when he mentioned your mom's name, did you see how emotional your mom got? See that your mom even wanted to cry. Yeah. She wanted to cry even before she, uh, she was touched. Now, this means that a prophecy, what prophecy does to a person, if you meet somebody you don't know and they tell you your name and they tell you things that you probably know that they don't know, that thing, it works on your emotional, uh, 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 it, it, it works on your, on your emotions. You become emotional and when you are emotional, you become vulnerable. And because you are in church, already your mindset and everything about you is ready to receive whatever that this man is about to say. So the moment he says, take it, it's not like there is a demonic power or there is something that is pushing you. You are a man and you, 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 were, you were in your logic state of mind. You were, you were still questioning a lot of things for you. That is why he prayed for you, you didn't fall. Then you had someone behind you saying, just lie down, my brother. Just lie down. But <laughs> yeah. now, do you get what I'm saying? So, so down because already they have been weakened by the words that are being spoken by this person. So it's not like there's a power that pushes people. If people, there is no need to have at least information. Exactly. I was thinking about that, yeah. Yes. If there is demonic power, there is no need for Totliso to come and get your information because the demonic power will give this man all the information that he needs. Do you understand? Yeah, I get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, if we already uh, mentioned demonic powers, let's say for the powers of Lukao, and now, now they, they understand the truth, but yet they get to buy his book, the prophetic soul, you know, the holy oil. Mm. Um, those objects, do you think they have any meanings in the occultic? Okay, here's the thing. I, I think you, did you watch the, the broadcast that I did when I was at the, the, the occultic and how the yeah. occult operates? Now, th this is what happens, you know, um, for example, outlook you know, everything is fake. You know, uh, his tongues are fake to start with. Those are not tongues from God. He repeats the same tongues every day in every service. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So that, those tongues are fake. Even and everybody, all the bishops have the same tongues. <laughs> so, so ba -ba. even all the bishops ba -ba 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 -ba. and everyone, they, they, they speak <laughs> the same things. You know, and everything yeah. that they speak, I mean, it doesn't make sense. You understand? So. This is this is what happens. Books, that's merchandise. Business. The book that is a business. So if you come down and then you buy a book for for three hundred rand, you have probably made uh, you have probably uh, made the company to make probably hundred percent profit. Yeah. So that's a business. So whether you read the book or you don't read the book, it doesn't bring any significance in your life because that is a business item. The things, the prophetic oil, those things, there's a lady called Busi. Busi Gata, the one who's a bishop or a pastor, something. She, she is the one who travels. She travels to China. If I'm lying, then, then you know, uh, uh, I don't know. She's the one who travels to China. She's the one who goes to bring all those, uh, you know, containers and all those, you know, tissues and all those, uh, you know, a lot of uh, materials that they have in the church, then they bring uh, those, mix them and stuff, and they change colors, then they lie to people that they're coming from Israel. If you use this oil, you blessed. They, they, there's no power in those things. I that know is there is business. no power. I know, there is, I know there is not God powers. I, mm. Now I know that it's not God's power in those objects, but I'm just thinking if those objects that well, we already got in contact with them, do you I mean, think de that... Definitely anybody who has those things, for you to cut any spiritual tie, because you've been there, exactly. and you, for, to cut spiritual ties with uh, 
uh, uh, this ministry and to cut spiritual ties with this pastor because apart from everything that he, uh, that he does, he actually belongs to a occultic group. Occultic group and is is is, is, is kind of occult that gives him uh, spiritual power to prophesy and to heal the sick because if he had the power to heal the sick, he was definitely heal the sick and not uh, fake miracles true. like he. so That's the only true, thing yeah. that he has is the power of making money. This man is um, he is a spiritual thief. I'll tell you what I mean by this. He, if you go to him, that is why he tells people that I'm a money magnet. I attract money. That is the power that he carries to attract. Go to him with money, you are very assured that by the time you leave, you leave him broke. All the frontline guys are, 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 are moving around with him. Money right now, most of them are broke. You know, he has, that man has got a crown. He has got a crown in the realm of the spirit. He has got a crown. A, that is so big. Uh, it is a it is a financial crown. It is a crown for for mammon. You know the mammon god, god of money. That is the kind of god that he worships. He worships money. That is why money. It's all about money. You know everything is about money. So if you go there and you give into his ministry, you do anything. You tithe into his ministry. You send a seed into his ministry. You put whatever amount you put into his ministry. After you are done with all that, at the end of the day, you will be left bankrupt. I'll tell you why. You'll be left bankrupt because the more you give into his ministry, the more you give into his life, when he says, come and sow into my life, come and do this, by, you, uh, by so doing, there is a spiritual transaction. Losing your star in the process. I know of a guy... He, he used to be a guy who was uh, uh, very close to him. Right now, he's broke. He lost everything. You know, he lost everything. I was talking to him uh, uh, just today and a few days ago. He's broke. Everything is gone because, you know, he got into a, into a spiritual transaction with this man and he lost everything, you see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting a phone call. Yeah, um, I, I, I can't hear you. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, okay. Can I pick up or should we go fast to... Uh, I think let's just uh, round up so that you can, I can just uh, dismiss you. I think we've covered uh, quite a few stuff. So you can just bring in your last uh, questions, then uh, we talk to the people, then we, we conclude. Okay, why do they worship a God where they're God itself? Have you uh, seen come again? Why do they worship a pastor rather than worship God itself? It's, it's part why... of the... Okay, sorry, you, you can continue. Pastors accept to be... Isn't that a, a thief? Isn't that like God? Exactly, it is. It is. Um, I, I think I've also spoken about this in the past as well, and I've said that, um, you see... What is happening right now is that um, we have a lot of gullible people, gullible followers who follow blindly. They, they don't question anything, but they just follow. Whatever that Papa says, they do. That is when you realize that um, they end up worshiping the pastor because the pastor has now taken the place of Christ. So when the pastor takes the place of Christ and when the pastor assumes the position of Christ, it is no longer a church, but it becomes a cult. It becomes a cult even when there is no spiritual implication to whatever is happening because uh, any group or organization that is led by an individual and everybody's faith is based on the individual uh, 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 that they are following. So they, they are not following an individual so it becomes a cult so in a cult you cannot worship god but you can only worship the leader of a cult okay yeah so it, it becomes a cult that is why people are worshiping pastors because of ignorance the bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge my people perish because of ignorance 
I see a lot of uh, young young fellows on, on, on the internet uh, coming out, you know, guns blazing, saying a lot of things. You know, you, you, I, I just want to warn everyone right now, stop defending what you don't know because this is real. This is reality. This is a brother all the way from Europe. I, you know, this is all the way from Europe, Romania, and I've, we've just played his prophecy and he has, he has narrated how you got into this and, and now. So, so, so this is real, people. This is reality. You know, wake up and open your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you still have uh, any other question. Well, maybe we'll save them for the next time. Okay. No problem. Because I, I need to go. But it was very good talking to you. No, and that's I'm gonna, fine. Thank you so much, my brother. Gonna, any, any last way? I'm going to continue like watching the live. Any last word you'd like, you'd like to give to all the people who are watching from all over the world? Be careful, people. Don't get, don't get foolish by, by what your eyes are seeing. Mm. Go, to the, go to the book first and, and check if it's in, 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 in the accuracy with the, the word of, of God. Mm. Mm. Okay. So thank you so much, my brother. God bless you. Thank you for joining thank me. You, everybody. I really appreciate Love you so much. Don't lose faith in God. Keep on praying. God is with you. God is real. After all this encounter, you know, um, just know that God is real and God is there. Uh -huh. Okay. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Man, this is, this is, this is something else, man. This is, this is sad. This is very sad. Very, very sad. Imagine this guy traveling um, all the way from Romania because of what he saw on TV. He saw things happening on TV. He saw people being prophesied on TV and he thought it's real. This is bad, man. This is, this is not good. A man with a conscience will, will, will not continue to fool people like this. It's only a man without, um, it's only a man without a conscience who will continue to do, uh, you know, such things. These people are spending real money. These people are, are spending real money. They're not spending fake money. They're, they're not uh, catching fake flights, you know. They're not uh, embarking on fake journeys. They're embarking on real journeys, catching real flights, using real money, coming with uh, real problems, you know, thinking that they're going to meet a real man of God, introduce them to a real God, and they're going to receive real miracles, only to find out that everything is fake. Now, now, what do we do? What do we do? This is, this is what is happening. What do we do? It's not only happening in, in, in Johannesburg. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in, in, in Pretoria, you know? It's happening in Pretoria. It's happening all over the place. All these uh, uh, charlatans that you see online, on Facebook, coming to you and telling you to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, it's guys, it's all lies. These people are liars, you know? My heart sinks when I think about this. My heart really sinks when I think about a joke. This is not, this is not a joke, man. This is not a joke. I mean, you guys, uh, come on, man. Come on, guys. Don't. Oh, man. No, man. This is, this is not right. This is not right. Alf, you need to repent. This is not right. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to stop deceiving people. Somebody was telling me that he has actually stopped prophesying. You know, ever since I began, I, I embarked on the exposure. He used to prophesy to people live on, uh, you know, on, on camera. And you will call people from the States and you will say, you are in the States, you are going through this. He is exposed. He is exposed. He is exposed. He can't prophesy anymore. This man is not a prophet. Alf is not a prophet. This is just a pastor. A pastor who must, who, who must just teach the word, you know, teach the basics of the word. 
teach the basics of the word. Just teach the basics of the word and that's it. He became a prophet. A few years ago, he was not a prophet. He was not prophesying. He was teaching. He was preaching only. Then all of a sudden, he's now a prophet and he's prophesying to people. Guys, this is not good. And all those bishops who are also uh, 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 helping in, uh, you know, in these scams, you know, uh, watch out because, you know, God is exposing all of you. God is exposing all of you. God is exposing the whole, this is a cartel. This is a prophetic cartel. This is a prophetic mafia, you know, kind of operation where everybody is involved. I was watching Bishop Shepard uh, speaking on TV, you know, uh, uh, speaking on, on, on Facebook. I was watching Bishop Shepard, you know, the one uh, uh, was a bishop there. I was, uh, I was watching him. How do you go to bed? You know, Bishop Shepard, how do you go to bed? How do you sleep at night? Because I remember very well that when I used to be part of these things, I never used to sleep. I, I, I could hardly sleep because these things used to haunt me at all, you know, a lot. Mine was even worse because I had spiritual stuff, like real occultic things that were haunting my life. I could not sleep at night. I couldn't sleep at all. So how do you guys go to bed? You know, knowing that you have scammed innocent individuals, we have traveled thousands, you know, thousands and thousands of kilometers just to come and attend your services, sit in your services, thinking that they're going to receive a, 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 a deliverance. And I want you to know, He's not the only one. He's not the only one who's coming out. There's a lot of people who are coming out live on this broadcast. You know? I've been on this broadcast just the same way that I've brought this brother. He's reached out to me. There's a lot of people who are reaching out to me because they are heartbroken. You know, Americans are heartbroken. You know, uh, 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 Europeans are heartbroken because they thought Alf is a man of God. They thought this guy is a man of God, only to realize he's a scammer. This guy is a, he's a scammer, you know. These are scams. How do you justify such things like this? How do you justify such acts? How do you justify such stuff like this? You can't. You know, at the end of the day, you may think whatever you want to think about me. You may think uh, that I'm crazy. You may think that I'm losing my mind. You may blame me and say, I must preach the gospel, but I'm telling you, I can assure you that the, this is the part of the gospel that we tend to overlook so many times. This is the part of the gospel that we tend to overlook, you know, a lot. This is the part of the gospel that we tend to overlook. We overlook these things, you know. We just push it aside and we just say, oh, no, leave them to God. You know, leave, God is going to deal with them. Listen, God will never come down and deal with his people. He has to use somebody. The same way that they preach and say, if God wants to use a man, if God wants to do something on earth, he uses a man. If God wants to, if the devil wants to do something on earth, he uses a man. The same way that if God wants to expose criminals, he also uses a man. The same way that God is using me to expose these criminals, already let us agree. criminal man of god is not a pastor he's a criminal you know you're scamming individuals you're scamming innocent people who came all the way you know who come all the way ah come on guys come on guys and all those who are busy defending this nonsense you know shame on you shame on you all those are uh, 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 papa's keys and all are busy defending this nonsense shame on you you don't have any shame at all you don't have any shame no shame how do you defend such things so let's pay people to come and speak uh, uh, against uh, this so-called uh, 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 how much did i pay the guy from europe how much how, how much did i pay the guy from europe how did i even convince him to you know just so you know let me let, let me show you just so you know, just so you know that this is a guy who sent me so many messages before I even responded. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try to see if I can hide his number, you know. Um, oh, Jesus. He sent me so many messages before I responded, and then eventually I responded, and then after I responded, uh, let me just hide his number first. 
so that I can show you how he got in touch with me, how many messages I ignored, you know, to the point where I, I decided to, uh, to, to, to respond. Okay. Now that's him. That's him right there, Emmanuel. Now look at that. You see? That's him. That's his profile picture. If you look closely, you will see that uh, that's the guy. That's him right there. We're talking to. This, these are real things. This is not a joke. You see? He sent all these messages from up there. Started greeting me from up there. I didn't respond. I did not respond. I did not respond. I did not respond. And then eventually I responded. Then we started talking. You know, so th th this is not something that I'm, I'm, I'm not making things up. I'm not, I'm not going around fishing for all these things. But people are coming out because people can see that they're being played. They're being scammed. People, you know, so uh, I want you to know uh, this is reality. This is real, you know. This is reality and this is real. And you guys, back enough of playing uh, uh, with people enough of uh, 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 this uh, 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 right there in johannesburg let me just name more people in fact let me just name the whole crew that is working together with the jobek pastor crew the whole, name the whole crew so that um so that everybody who's been to johannesburg can begin to relate and remember who did you meet and who took your information, okay? We have a lady by the name of Irene. She's part of the church, Irene. We have another one called Jesse. We have another one uh, uh, called Shalene. Shalene has actually uh, uh, messed up all her friends. And Shalene is actually from Zimbabwe. It pains me. It breaks my heart. Shalene, come on, man. You are, you are better than this. You know, I know you. I know Shalene. I know Shalene. Shalene is not somebody that I don't know. I know Shalene. She used to bring me uh, 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 our Zimbabwean drink, Mazowe, from Zimbabwe. She used to bring me uh, uh, as our Zimbabwean drink. I'm not talking about somebody I don't know. Shalene, you are better than this man. You know? I don't, I don't even know if your husband is aware that this is the nonsense that you are doing whenever you say you're going to church. I don't, I'm, I, I'm ashamed to even say you are from Zimbabwe, you know? What, 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 what has become of our Zimbabwean sisters and our Zimbabwean brothers? Is this, why, what, what, is this what we are coming to do in this country? You are better than that. So there is Jesse, there is Shalene, there is Irene. There is another guy a, a called um, Tolani. There's another guy called Tolani. Tolani is also one of the guys, you know, uh, Tolani, I know Tolani personally. Whenever I go to Jobek, he used to pick me up. He used to fetch me from the airport. He's the one who manages the, the hospitality team. He's the manager of the hospitality team. His marriage is in shambles. His marriage is in shambles because of these things. His brother X, you know, is in shambles because of such things. This is bad, man. This is bad, guys. Come on. You know, this, this has to come to an end. This has to come to an end. This has to come to an end. It has to come to an end in the name of Jesus. You know, it has to come to an end. It really has to come to an end. So, so, so there is a, 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 a okay. There is another lady again called um, Arlene. There is Kolani. A, a, a Kolani works together with uh, the, the light bishop, uh, with the light bishop, Bishop J, you know, the one who's always coming out to defend all the nonsense. That woman, you know, uh, 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 she used to be a drug dealer, you know. She used to be a criminal before she got born again. I, I'm, I'm even questioning if, if, if she's really born again. I'm questioning if she's really born again because how do you uh, become saved from being a drug dealer, from being... You know, this person was doing uh, uh, prostitution and stuff. And then you are saved into a church where you come and you become even a worse criminal. How does that work? How does that work? You see? 
So we will conclude, I'll personally conclude and say, Jackie, you are not saved. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to repent. You need to give your life to Christ and you need to repent. And the whole crew, the whole crew that is working together uh, with this Jobek pastor, all of you need to repent. You need to give your life to Christ and stop deceiving people. Stop deceiving innocent individuals and stop lying to people in the name of God. This nonsense must come to an end. This nonsense must come to an end. I don't care. You can think what you want about me. I don't care. If you want to say, J. Israel is being used by the devil, so be it. If the devil can use me to expose things and to uh, 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 bring freedom and liberty to people who are being oppressed in the name of church, then let it be. Look at the gentleman I was talking to. They spent th hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, runs just to come and have nonsense in, 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 here in South Africa. Imagine how many other people traveled. How many other people traveled? I was talking to another lady. You know, she got scammed by the brother uh, called um, uh, the brother called Ange. He's Pastor Ange. He's Pastor Ange. He's the young brother of uh, uh, the, the, the Jobbeck Charlatan. Pastor Ange. You know, Pastor Ange took money from people telling them that he was going to facilitate meetings with uh, 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 uh with alf those meetings never happened i've been talking to people who bought they were, were buying these guys gifts and bringing them gifts and stuff like that because they thought they were going to uh, uh, meet up with this man because they thought he was a true man of god but he was not you know together with uh, uh, ben's wife i was actually very disappointed when I got to hear that Abeni Mwebu is also part of these things, I was very disappointed. I never used to know that Beni Mwebu, I'm naming all of you guys because this thing has to come to an end. You know, you can hate me, you can fabricate lies about me, you can spread funny stories about me. I don't care. I don't really care. At this moment, I don't really care because I've got nothing to lose. Just in case you thought I've got something to lose, I've got nothing to lose, you know? I've got nothing to lose, nothing at all. My reputation is in Christ. I've got nothing to lose. I've got nothing to hide. There is nothing I'm losing out of this, nothing at all. You know? Yes. I see somebody say, Double E N, Aline. That's the name. Uh, I think it's uh, L E N E or L double E N or whatever, but the name is Aline. It's true. These are people who are working together, you know, who are working together. This is, a, this is a, you know, organized crime. I was very disappointed to hear that a uh, 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 Benny Mwepu is part of this uh, uh, nonsense, you know. And, and, and how can I leave out uh, uh, Jeremiah, precious Jeremiah, precious Jeremiah. I personally know that she used to uh, 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 take information to Alf, you know. She used to take information to Alf. Now, this uh, a precious Jeremiah lady, she came from ECG. And when she came from ECG, she was saying that, oh, Bushiri wanted to sleep with me. Bushiri wanted to do this to me. Bushiri is a fake man of God. Bushiri is not a true man of God. And now he's here in this other church where she is now. Guess what's happening? The same thing that she was claiming that was happening there is the same thing that is happening in this church right now where she is. You see them posting my father every day, my father every day, morning and evening, my father this, my father this, and you will think these guys are, they love their father. No, it's not like that. They are part of the scam. They are part of the scam. They're working together to scam people. Precious Jeremiah, you need to repent. At some point, I tried to reach out to your husband. And your husband, you know, you told your husband lies. And you, told, you lied to your husband because you thought I was going to expose you to your husband. And you went on and you lied to your husband. But remember, you know, remember, I still have what I have on you and you know what I have. You know what I have. So you better tread very carefully, you know, with me because I'm not just coming here. I see somebody says, uh, do you know Naomi Tokwe? Naomi is an innocent person. Naomi is a very innocent person. Naomi knows nothing about these things that are happening. Naomi is actually a financer. She finances the ministry. Naomi is a financer. She finances that, uh, that place. She puts in money into that place and she's innocent. She doesn't know all these things. In fact, she knows that things are happening, but she's not part of the, 
you know, she's, she's not part of the organizing of miracles and stuff like that. She's not. But she's aware that things are happening. She knows that women are being abused. She knows that miracles are being faked. She knows that prophecies are being arranged. You know, she knows everything. Unfortunately, I don't know why she's still there. Unfortunately, I don't know why she's still there. But uh, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Precious Jeremiah. She's there on Facebook. You know, you see a posting, my father, my father, this, my father. Nonsense. You need to repent. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to repent. You are a married woman. Focus on your marriage. Focus on your ministry. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to repent. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I'm giving you a warning. I'm giving you a warning. You better warn all those other uh, uh, goons of yours, you know, that are creating fake accounts on Facebook. I will use you as a scapegoat. I will use you as a sacrifice. I'm telling you, everything that I have on you, precious on you, I will come and play them on this platform. You better warn all those minions who are creating fake accounts and spreading lies. Eh, 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 eh. These are not lies. I'm not here to spread lies. I'm speaking the truth. If you have your truth, speak your truth. Don't fabricate lies. You know? Speak your truth. Do not fabricate lies. So I'm warning you. Go and warn all your friends. Go and warn your friends, your friends and all your uh, uh, thug friends and all your criminal friends. You know, your Bussy and, and your JP and all your, your, your Anasos and, and, and all your, 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 I know you are creating fake accounts. And I know that all the articles, you are working together with somebody. And you are, you are the ones who are creating all these articles in the newspapers. I'm telling you. Somebody that you want to play with, you precious, you better be warned. You better be warned. I'm giving you a very strong warning, you know, very, very strong warning. And I'm, I'm, I'm not playing with you. This is not, it used to be a joke, but it has ceased being a joke. It's not a joke anymore. This is reality. This is reality. You know, this is reality. If you want to say I'm lying, go right now, as soon as I'm done with this live broadcast, Go on your Facebook page. Go and post that J. Israel was lying. Then tomorrow, same time, I'm coming back with your recordings on this live broadcast. Everything that you say, what you said and everything, I'll bring it up here, you know? So please, be warned. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. In mind that I'm going to stand for the truth. I will not with exposing the lies. I will not stand for the truth without exposing the lies. This whole MI church is a, is, a, is a business center. It's a cult. A very dangerous cult for that matter. You see the men coming out, speaking nicely, and, you know, uh, claiming, oh, no, you know, God will bless you. He's so subtle, very cunning, very cunning. Very, very cunning. Very, very cunning. But deep down, he knows who he is. And wherever he is, he knows what I'm talking about. That is why, no, yes, just a, a last of last thing, two, three years ago, Solomon came out, guns blazing against him. With blessing Solomon. He did a video, full video for Solomon, saying, no, there's a... Why not do another video for me, J. Israel? Why not do a video for me, J. Israel, so that you can tell people that everything that I'm saying about you is a lie, Pastor Alf. You know, in fact, Alf, you're not a pastor. You know, I've lost respect for you because of all the things that you do, claiming that you're a man of God. You are not a man of God. You know, you're a thief. You're a charlatan. You're a robber. So this precious left ECG because you are saying Bushiri is fake. I'm not saying Bushiri is a true man of God now because uh, 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 now this one is here. Bushiri remains fake. The, the, the same way he was fake back in the days, he is still Okay? How do you tell people that you, you, you pray for a car without an engine? 
and then uh, 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 the car started moving. How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you, how do you tell people that you pray for a car without an engine and the car started moving, yet it didn't really... <laughs> you, you stop playing with people. Stop playing with people. I'm telling you, stop playing with people. Criminal. Stop playing with people. He comes out and he says, I was working in the air. Which air do you work on? You walked on which air? You walked on which air? You went on live broadcast, on, or you went, you went on live TV, and you said, I'm talking to this one from Pretoria, this charlatan. He's a charlatan. He's a charlatan. You went on live broadcast, and you like working on air is one of your easiest Invite 1,000 people and walk on air in front of everybody. Invite everybody. Invite 1,000 people. Listen, everybody was trying to say, oh, Jay, I'm worried. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nobody. How many, how many articles have they released in the newspapers? Just recently, they, they, they wrote in the newspapers that the police are looking for me. Why would the police go and look for me at the Sowetan offices, at the Sowetan newspaper? Why would the police go to News24 newspaper to look for me? Can't you see that this is nonsense? They have they are running a campaign in South Africa every day. I don't know how many days. Every day, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. You know? Another one say that he has opened a case of tires. Which tires? Which tires which tires did I slash? Said I intimidated, I sent death threats, me threatening somebody for death person on live broadcast did i not apologize to this person did i not apologize to this person when she was saying that your tires were slashed i spoke on, on on live broadcast and i said i'm i'm really really sorry i'm sincerely sorry and everything that i've done to you i was talking about creating uh, the fake accounts that were creating on uh, that were created on facebook by my team and by everybody who was around me at the time those were the fake accounts. I did not want to spoil an apology with an excuse because I'm a gentleman. I don't spoil apologies with excuses. I didn't want to say, okay, listen, this one I did it and this one I didn't do it. But I told her on live broadcast that I never slashed your tires. The issue of slashing of tires, I don't know. And the death threats, I'm not aware of that. So that case does not carry water, you know? That case does not carry water at all. My lawyers are actually digging deep into that case to see what is, what is it all about. What is it all about? Because I, I spoke about this on live, live TV, live uh, broadcast, you know? So I, uh, to me now, this is, uh, 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 this is now beyond whoever I brought to the, you know? This is beyond whoever I brought to the live broadcast to apologize to. It is beyond, it is beyond her. It is just a few days ago, I, l let me read this. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not afraid, man. I'm, listen. And, and by saying this, I'm not even trying to say I'm taking back my apology. When I apologized to this lady, I, was, I meant it from the deepest part of my heart. I was very sincere about my apology, you know, very, very sincere. And even up to today, I can still pick up my phone to say, listen, I'm sorry, and I'm still sorry, and I still remain sorry. So why go on the papers and start writing that uh, cases have been opened and I'm running away? Well, I'm running. I'm here. I'm not running. I'm here. I've never received any call from the police, not even once. I've never received any call from the police, not even once. These are journalists that have been paid. I'll, I'll tell you why and how it is happening and where this is coming from. I'll tell you now. Let me read this for you. And this is where I definitely knew that now I'm poking the right places. I'm poking the right places and I'm touching the right places and now they are going to manifest and now they are manifesting. They are manifesting in the news. I've been in the newspapers. My family is calling me. Are you okay? My, 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 uh, my sister is, is calling me. My mom is calling me. Everybody is calling me. Are you okay? Are you safe? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. They're spreading these things on, the, on, on Facebook, on the internet, everywhere. Why would the police look for me in a newspaper, in, in a media house? Do I stay at the Sowetan? I'm an open book. I'm sitting here. If you need me, come to me. If you need me, my numbers are on Facebook. You know? My numbers are on Facebook. Everywhere, my numbers are everywhere. Why would the police look for me in a, in a, in a media house? 
Why would they go? Why, why would they go to to to, to Soweto? Why would they go to uh, 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 Sunday World and look for me at Sunday World? Do I stay at Sunday World? Since when do I stay at the Soweto? Are my phone numbers not on Facebook? How many people have I given my phone number on Facebook and they have called me? How many people? A lot of people have done so. So why wouldn't the police do the same and call me? I'm not running away. And I'll never run away from nobody because I fear nobody and I fear nothing. You see? This, is, this was the beginning of the problems because the guy that I exposed here is the one who, that they are using. The owner of this company called Untouched Media, this one, the, this Untouched uh, Media, his name is Sia from the Eastern Cape. This is the guy that they were using for their media campaigns. And this is the same guy who is running articles everywhere on, on, on media right now. This is the guy who is running articles everywhere. The guy of this uh, 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 print, uh, uh, the, the guy of this Untouched Media, the document that I exposed a, 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 just a few days ago, I think last week or so. You see, if police are conducted that there is a criminal that is out there, the police will say, give us the phone number, or they will do their research, they'll get my phone number, they will call me, hi, are you Jay Israel? Yes, I am Jay Israel, okay? I am Jay Israel, eh, 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 eh. yes, we hear that eh, you intimidated a woman and you, you, you threatened her with death. Oh, really? Okay. When did that happen? Oh, it happened in 2017 or in 2018 or so. Oh, really? Okay. I'm not aware of what you're talking about. They're talking to me. Why would they go and put it in the newspaper as if I, I stay at the Sowetan offices? This is nonsense, man. This is nonsense. This is really, really nonsense. This is utter nonsense. This is utter rubbish. And it is, it is, it, 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 it is, it is very, very a, 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 a unprofessional. You know? It is very unprofessional. The next time I receive a call from the police, I'll tell them, go back to the Soweto. Because you, you, you said that uh, 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 you put me in the newspapers before calling me. So go to Soweto and they're going to give you your answer. You see? It's simple. I'm an open book. I've preempted myself everywhere. On the, online, on everywhere, everywhere. This is Sia who's doing this. Working together with... Uh, 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 he's on payroll. He's on, he, he, I mean, he received 400,000 runs just to run articles in the newspapers. So why can't he not do the same now that uh, uh, Jay Israel has exposed his company, exposed everything, you know? This is the uh, uh, document, the, uh, the document I, 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 that I exposed a few days ago. You see? That's the document. There it is.